Hey Jose, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Jenna. How long have you been playing the sport of handball? I see that you're very, very passionate about it. Well, I've been playing since I was 15 years old. I started uh, when I had a free period in my high school class. We had an open campus and we used to go out to the back uh, of the school where they had uh, a handball wall and we used to play there. So what's your drive to it? What makes you so motivated about it? Well, I like the benefits of handball and I like the community of handball. The handball community is a very special community. I have friends that, uh, that I've met in high school that we still keep in contact with because of handball. That was the, the nature of our, our first encounter. And, and over the years where you go to a different park and all around the world, wherever they play handball, they welcome you as a family. So what type of court would typically be preferred in a handball competition or game? Well, what's popular all around the world is different types. You have four wall handball, you have, which I think is the most popular one, it's, it's played indoors typically, and uh, you have three wall handball, and then you have one wall handball. Um, the one wall is the one that we prefer uh, Northeast and actually in Europe and right now is is getting a lot of traction all throughout the world and is trying to become an Olympic sport. Okay, so the one wall is preferred, correct? The one wall is preferred <laughs> to answer your question, absolutely. Okay, so what would you say to Kissimmee Parks and Recreation about building a one wall handball court? Well, I've been trying to give awareness, doing PowerPoint presentation, having meetings with the parks and recreation people and I've done many things that I could possibly do to just get permission to put a floor down in the Vance Harmon Park uh, behind the three wall handball courts that are there right now and what I would tell them is allow us to, to do it we don't need your money <laughs> we will do everything by the books uh, when it comes to getting licensed, insured, uh, contractors that will pull permits that will do all that uh, we will do fundraising, we'll do whatever it takes as a handball community. There's many, many people who would enjoy and take advantage of having a one wall handball court in Kissimmee. Okay, and any last words? No, I think that, that handball, it, it would be a, a bigger sport. It, it, would, it would be used in the community. A lot of things that, that happens is that we have tennis courts here in Florida or in every community. And every time I drive by them, they're empty. They're always empty. There's nothing for kids. I just had a, a, a community meeting with, uh, from a homeowners association. And one of the things that they were telling me is that the tennis courts are just never used. And there's a whole bunch of kids with nothing else to do. You give them a handball and you give them a wall. And believe me, there's going to be some activity and some community, something that we're lacking in 2015. We lost it. I mean, we handball players love the fact that we could get together and, and, and do very nice things, very organized. Um, we get together, we have tournaments, we have cookouts, our family becomes friends, wives with wives, guys just hanging out together, kids playing together. It's a, it's a family oriented sport. Uh, all types of people play. I'm a business owner. There's college professors, there's police officers, there's lawyers. I mean, from all types of blue collar, white collar, it doesn't really matter. Um, and there's even professional one wall handball players that actually get paid for this. So, like I said, it's, it's, it's from all walks of life and it will only benefit the, the community. Okay, thank you. Thank you.